Hello friends, this is Hedda. Today I'm making a pen pal letter for Anita in response to the letter that she sent me a while ago. Anita lives all the way over in Australia, so this letter is traveling pretty far. Most likely it hasn't even arrived in Australia yet, so Anita, if you're watching, please click away. I don't want to spoil the surprise. This time I'm starting with the envelope before moving on to the content. I actually think decorating the envelope is one of the most fun things about making a pen pal letter and it really sets the tone for the rest of the letter. A lovely follower named Sylvia sent me lots of fun envelopes a while back and I'm really enjoying decorating them. And this one has some fashion elements to it as well as some flowers and I want to focus on the flowers so I'm just covering up the fashion elements with some pieces of colored paper. The theme will eventually be hydrangeas and different tones of blue and purple and pink because of the lovely washi tape set that I was sent by Notebook Therapy. I did an unboxing of some of their new washi tapes and notebooks in my mid-year bullet journal setup video, so go check that out if you're interested. I really like the challenge of making pen pal videos because when I make pen pal letters I usually go in without a plan, so all that you're seeing in this video right now is improvisation. Usually I'll decide on a rough theme and a color palette ahead of time and then I just bring out all the stationery that I have in those colors, but after that it's just me having fun with the colors and the different components. If you're wondering how long it takes me to make a pen pal letter, it does vary a little bit depending mostly on whether I have a clear theme in mind or not and also how much stationery I have that suits that theme. Sometimes I have to be more creative with what I have than other times, but mostly I'd say one to two hours per letter. I had roughly one hour of footage for this video, which is the whole pen pal letter except for the actual writing of the letter. I don't film the writing since I don't include that in the video anyway. So with just the decorating and putting everything together, I spent around an hour on this. Here you can see me writing down the return address to put on the envelope in case it gets lost or in case Anita wants to send me another letter. But don't worry, that's not the address to my home. It's the address to my PO box. And my PO box is open for anyone who wants to send me a letter. I try to reply to everyone, although I have to admit right now I'm being a little bit slow. My goal is to answer all of the letters that I've received by the end of August. And I'm also playing around with making reels and TikToks about those letters instead of making a full YouTube video, making shorter, quicker um, reels and TikToks is kind of fun. So definitely go check out my Instagram account if you aren't already following me there because I'll be posting a lot of pen pal reels. At least that's the plan. I guess I shouldn't make any promises. <laughs> I definitely don't film all of the pen pal letters that I write. Usually I will respond to pen pal letters quite late at night when I have some extra free time because that's kind of when I feel like making pen pal letters. It's just this extra hobby that I have, you know? This pen pal letter though is quite special because it's for Anita and Anita is actually one of my patrons. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon where I post monthly content, lots of like printables and stuff for people to use at home in their journals or pen pal letters. I also send out physical mail with stickers from my sticker shop. And Anita has been a patron of mine for quite a long time. Obviously, I am so incredibly grateful to all of my patrons and there's just something special about those that have stayed on for a really long time. It really means a lot to me and so I wanted to write this letter to Anita when she sent me a letter. She took the time to make me a lovely letter. It was so pretty and I got to learn a little bit about Australia and about her life and what it's like being Anita, you know? And that's what's so nice about pen pal letters because you get to know people in a different way. I think because it is kind of a monologue instead of a dialogue, you share things differently, I think, than you would in, a, in an actual conversation. Not to mention that I really appreciate when you guys send me a message or send me a letter and you tell me about yourself because obviously you know a lot more about me than I know about you. <laughs> 
naturally because I post these videos and my pictures on Instagram and stuff and uh, when you send me a letter and tell me about maybe how you found me or like what you enjoy and then your hobbies or if something that I did inspired you to try something new or something like that that makes me really happy it makes what I'm doing more meaningful to me and I'm really grateful that you can give me that so that's pretty much why I have a P.O. box and why I like to respond to your letters. Okay, but let me talk a little bit about this pen pal letter now because I haven't really talked much about it and you've just been watching me do it. I decorated the envelope as you saw, then I decorated the letter. I used a page out of my moleskin dot grid notebook because I'm not using it for anything else. and. And it is great paper to write on with my fountain pen. And then I am just collecting some extras that I want to send to Anita, some stickers, some ephemera, just a bunch of stuff really. And I'm trying to stick to the color scheme of the blue and purple and a little bit of pink. So yeah, I'm just putting together some stuff. I am packaging this really simple, I would say. In some other pen pile videos of mine, you will have seen me make folders and pockets and stuff like that. But this time I am just using some paper to hold the, I guess, bundle of extras together. And I actually think that in the end, this looks really nice too. You can see everything that's in there all the time. And it was easy for me to like take things in and out of the little sleeves, like as I was preparing it, because you will see me move things around a little bit because I changed my mind on some things or I wanted to add more things. So uh, this is really simple. You just make a little sleeve and then you can label it if you want to make it look a little bit neater. I try to vary how I put together pen pal letters every time so that I don't do the same thing every time I make a pen pal letter because if I do that it would be more boring for me <laughs> and I guess it would be kind of boring for the people that I send the letter to as well if it looks the same every time, you know? I will say though, I have an insane amount of pink paper and I just never run out. That's why I often use a lot of pink in my pen pal letters. Here I'm just recycling an empty sticker sheet from my shop and uh, just putting a little selection of stickers that I think Anita will like. All of these are from other small businesses and I'll link all of them in the description box below. I'll try to link most of the things I'm using in this video in the description box below if I have a link. I also included the Spring in Japan sticker sheet from my shop in the letter. I know that Anita has a lot of my stickers already since she's uh, in the top tier on my Patreon, but I still wanted to gift her a little extra sticker sheet since she was so nice and sent me a letter. Oh, and a little life update, I guess. Um, last weekend I went to my very first market with my sticker shop. It was a little small business market locally here in Oslo. It was really fun. There were like 10 shops in total and we were at this really cool cafe and everyone had their own table or their own stand and it lasted for five hours. I was exhausted afterwards because after you know lockdowns and everything my social batteries are not very good but yeah it was really fun and it was really nice to meet people in person i even met some viewers which was really fun that hasn't really happened before so um yeah i didn't really know what to say i definitely want to do more markets in the future because it was a really great experience i'm currently working on some new products for the shop I know it's been a while since I released a lot of stickers, so uh, yeah. If you have any requests or ideas for me, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear any sticker themes or type of stickers you'd like to see in my shop. And now you're just seeing me finish up the pen pal letter. I tried to stuff as much 
um, ephemera into the sleeves as possible without making the envelope too chunky because then um, it, it could burst which would not be a good thing since it's going all the way to Australia but just in case I put everything in this little plastic sleeve I usually don't do this because I don't really like to include plastic but since it is going so far and it did turn out a little bit chunky even though I tried to not make it chunky <laughs> I just wanted to give it a little bit extra security, I guess, and hope that it doesn't come apart in the mail. I have no idea when this will arrive in Australia because I know from experience that the shipping times vary a lot. Anita has had Patreon mail arrive two months after I sent them and also two weeks, so uh, yeah, I have no idea. But hopefully it will arrive soon and uh, hopefully she will be pleasantly surprised when it shows up in her mailbox. That's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed already, I hope you'll consider doing that. It really helps my channel grow. I hope that you're having a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!